Thumpity thump. When we moved to Schenectady from Schahari, we rented a house awful cheap because it was spooked and nobody would live in it. But we didn't care because we didn't take no stock in spooks. We had just gone to bed the first night, dog tired from riding in a wagon all day. We hadn't had time to shut our eyes when we heard a thumpity thump, thumpity thump coming down the attic stairs. I covered my head with a blanket, but I couldn't shut out the sound. Thumpity thump, thumpity thump it went. I could hear it plain as day. Past the bedroom door, thumpity thump, thumpity thump, and down the stairs, thumpity thump, thumpity thump, and through the kitchen, thumpity thump, thumpity thump, and down the cellar stairs, thumpity thump, thumpity thump, making the most awful racket you ever heard. It was more than we could stand. So we all followed the sound to see what was going on. When we got down the cellar stairs, we saw that it was a chair that had made all of that racket. There it was, with one of its legs pointing to a place on the dirt floor. We all just stood and gawped till my brother Ike said that he believed that the chair was trying to tell us something about the place it was pointing at. So Ike went and got a shovel and started digging. He didn't have to dig far before his shovel struck something hard. Pretty soon, we could see the edge of a box sticking out. We all hollered for him to hurry up and uncover the rest of it. And the chair, it got so excited, it jumped up and down like it had gone plumb crazy. When Ike got the box uncovered, Pop and the boys pried off the lid. And there was the body of a man all smooched with blood. It was plain as the nose on your face that he had been murdered, and the chair wanted folks to know it. Right then and there, we decided to leave. Being strangers, everybody would think that we had murdered him and come there to hide the body. It didn't take us long to fill up that hole and get out of that house. The chair was awful mad about our leaving. You! Two big gangster on three bit. Now you're gonna... Cap! The only one who was ever decent to you! Ha! And it went up the cellar stairs, thumpity thump, thumpity thump, louder than when it had gone down. Then it thumpity thumped up the next set of stairs, and the next louder still. When it got back into the attic, it thumpity thumped so loud, we thought it would thump all the plastering down on our heads. Nobody asked us why we were moving out so soon, because nobody ever stayed more than one night in that place, and most not that long. But I can tell you we were thankful to get back to Skoharie, where chairs stay where they're put, and don't go raring and rampaging around, scaring folks out of their wits, pointing out murders and goodness knows what!